before and afters. She gives an update on where she stands with Kathy Hilton. And also she talks about um, who she wants to replace Lisa Renna on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So this is the before and after of Kyle that has been going around. And I love the shade. It says, what is Kyle Richard's Kyle Richards workout routine because I'm sorry girl I know we all go through our ugly duckling phase we all grow up and we change but girl this is surgery all day long but let's get into it so this is according to reality blurb it says Kyle Richards reacts to old photo being used in before and afters Kathy reconciliation and suggest Chrissy Teigen as potential Rena replacement on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Kyle Richards doesn't love the quote before image often used in articles showcasing her before and after weight loss or plastic surgeries. As the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star continues to be spotlighted for her stunning new physique, I don't know how much they paid you for that, but I'm not calling this a stunning new physique, okay? Whatever. Which she recently debuted in a black bra and panty set. That's right, you guys. It was underwear, not a bikini. So again, she's up here posting pictures of herself in underwear and then getting in her feelings when people aren't here for it. Girl, bye. Which she recently debuted in her black and bra panty set. Kyle took to her Instagram story where she revealed the before image was actually taken nearly 40 years ago. They always use the photo on the left as the before photo of their before and after stories. I was 15 years old in this photo with my braces still on my teeth and I brought my mom's big furry coat, Kyle revealed on January 16th, adding, if I only knew how many times this photo would be used. Girl, bye. You should just, this is the thing, Kyle, you take yourself too seriously. Just be like, yeah, you know, I was going through it. I had braces on. It's so funny. I've gotten this done and this done and this done. But when you keep trying to act like it's us, that's the problem. When it's actually you, that's the problem. That's why you're unlikable. That's why you're bio Kyle. That's why you're goodbye Kyle. That's why nobody feels for you when you're up there crying with a frog in your throat and this, that, and the third girl by anyway in other kyle richards news the longest running real housewives of beverly hills cast member um named chrissy Teigen as a potential replacement for lisa renna who left the series earlier this month after eight seasons left the series by let's call a thing a thing lisa renna got fired 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 and i'm gonna say it every single time i'm not buying a mutual decision i'm not buying that she quit lies she got fired so after lisa renna got fired eight um after eight seasons while chatting with tmz outside of il pastillo restaurant in beverly hills on monday i always said chrissy Teigen would be the best kyle revealed kyle revealed on january 16th i don't know it's not an easy job believe it or not Although Kyle has been friends with Chrissy for years and Chrissy has been a fan of the show for just as long, she recently welcomed her fourth child with husband John Legend, which makes her potential role in the upcoming season pretty unlikely. Still, Kyle isn't the only one who'd like to see her on the show. In fact, Andy Cohen named Chrissy as his dream housewife during an Ask, Ask Andy panel at BravoCon just months ago. She's been here all weekend. Chrissy Teigen, he declared. I think she would be so entertaining. She's so funny. She's not without her drama. She's gorgeous. I just think to me, she'd be amazing. Kyle also mentioned Chrissy as a potential addition back in 2019, around the time that Lisa Vanderpump exited the show. We fantasized and talked about things, Kyle told Us Weekly. People always ask. I would say Chrissy Teigen, but I know she won't do it. So I got to think of somebody else now because I know she's never going to do it. Side note. <coughs> What do you guys think about that? What do you think about Chrissy Teigen? Personally, it's a no. I don't know what it is about Chrissy, but she gives me crazy psycho tick tick boom vibes. Like, I think there's something off about Chrissy Teigen. Like, I don't think she's firing on all cylinders. I think there's also like, um, I don't know how to explain it like a like a meanness to her not like an evil like a Lisa Renner or an Erica 
But there's something about Chrissy Teigen that just doesn't sit well with me. I think she has like a tick. I think she's ticky, ticky, boom, a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, a little psycho. And there's just something off about her. Personally, I don't, I I wouldn't want her on the show. I just don't. I don't think she's that interesting. I don't think that she would have a good storyline. I think Chrissy Teigen is just on Twitter being like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, tweeting at people and having Twitter feuds. Like she should just continue to do that. Like just be beautiful, just be married to John Legend and stay cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs on Twitter and like leave Beverly Hills alone. That's just me. And I can't put my finger on it. I don't know exactly what the feeling is, but there's just something off about Chrissy Teigen to me. There's just something not shaping up. But what do you guys think? Like, do you think Chrissy Teigen would be a good housewife? Like, would you be interested in seeing what her life is like? I don't know. She just seems ticky boom to me. (coughs) Okay. Now let's keep going. Also during her conversation with TMZ on Monday, Kyle said that when it comes to a future reconciliation with Kathy Hilton, she and her sisters will, quote, always be okay. She also reacted to Lisa telling Interview Magazine she effing hated season 12s. We all hate it sometimes, Kyle noted. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 13 is expected to go into production later this month. Okay, some more tea about that. So word on the street is that Kyle is desperately trying to become BFFs with Garcelle because she knows that if she aligns herself with Garcelle, she is more likely to be beloved by fans. She's more likely um, to have more camera time and to have a more favorable reputation and also um, have a better time on you know Twitter and YouTube and Instagram, everybody. If she befriends Garcelle, then her, Garcelle, and, you know, Sutton by default, then the three of them could have, you know, fun and all of that stuff. So that's the word on the street, that Kyle's strategy to stay on the show, to stay relevant, and to not be so hated is to align herself with Garcelle and Sutton. So that's the deal. I want to know what you guys think. Like, do you think that's going to work? And what do you think about her before and after? Like, just embrace it, Kyle. And this is the thing. Kyle is not a, a unattractive woman. You know what I mean? She's not ugly. And I would never call another person ugly. Um, but she's not, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, girl, just admit the work. And also admit this sweetheart boo-boo is not natural. And it is not just through drinking water and eating right and going to the gym. Not in the amount of time. It's just not possible. Because she literally went from her normal weight and size, which was just like a normal average woman. You know, she looked fine. She looked completely fine. More fit than probably your national average, right? And then at the reunion, it was shoop. She lost mad weight. And she had the blonde highlights and the second or third nose drop. She had gotten three tattoos at that point. Now she has four tattoos. Girl, bye. But I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below in the comment box. And now I'm going to take some of your candy cane question and comments. I will also drop the link in case anybody wants to join No pressure at all, my candy canes, because I'm going to take your candy cane question and comments right now. Let's go. Hey, Juanita. She says, afternoon, candy in the cane.